The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure, though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possessed the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. Jack Krauser has been the subject of extensive study and research by the organization. His skills and personality have been tested both on and off the battlefield. If he weren't the best, he would become a liability that would jeopardize the rest of us. My conclusion? He's a great soldier. No more, no less. As long as he's well compensated, he shouldn't cause any problems for us. If he does start to get restless, I can take care of him. I've studied his combat style and can deal with that arm of his if necessary. Krauser answers directly to Wesker, and it was Wesker who decided that Krauser should be sent to spy on the cult. He also decided to send me along. I wonder if it wasn't to keep an eye on Krauser. No doubt Krauser has already fallen to the temptation of Las Plagas and the power they represent. This could have dire consequences for the organization. On some level, however, this may be a necessary development, as his role is to disrupt this farce of a play. That said, the stage and its players will ultimately come crashing down in the end. Bad luck for him. But he'll play the patsy in the end and take the fall for all of us. That's why I need to make sure things keep going exactly as they are. Leon S. Kennedy, perhaps the most essential part of this mission. This story wouldn't be complete without him and his formidable survival skills. He has what it takes to survive against overwhelming odds. I've seen him do it before. And he's improved since then. Practically a genius, he has smarts and he knows how to use them. On top of that, his service as a government agent has toughened him up. I'll work behind the scenes to make him think he's the primary player here, though it may be naive of me to think that'll be easy. Considering the involvement of both Sadler and Krauser, the possibility of unforeseen problems is there. But I need him in the supporting role for me to achieve my goals. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him in his place, and make this all go smoothly. Of course, his role didn't exist at all until a few months ago. Back then, my role was much simpler too. But that was before the President's daughter was abducted and Leon was dispatched alone to find her. Talk about a major script revision. I don't think I need to worry. Leon's been through worse and always comes up smelling like roses. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. It wasn't easy, 
But I'd say the mission was a success. Getting my hands on the sample was my initial objective, after all. But I've sent Wesker a different present, just as the organization ordered. Pretending to work with him was entertaining. Albert Wesker. I wonder where he's headed next. Something tells me this whole affair has just been a taste of what he's got in store. To him, Umbrella represented power. He used it to hide behind while he made plans of his own. And now the Umbrella's been folded. With the sanctuary of their old umbrella ruined, those in power struggle to erect a new one. They are aware of their own crookedness and deceit as they engage in their personal war of light and darkness. That's why Wesker will stop at nothing in opening his new umbrella. The giant pharmaceutical corporation S maintains medical and drug facilities the world over. We know for certain that Wesker has been in contact with them following Umbrella's demise. There's no doubt we'll next hear from him there. The organization must remain vigilant. But Wesker's not stupid. He knows exactly what the organization is thinking. He and I still have time to continue our little game of cat and mouse before the next move is played. This mission may be over, but the battle is just beginning.